Today at Mac Media Day, you could gauge how hungry these Toledo Rockets are to get back here on the sidelines at Ford Field. If the preseason poll, which came out today, has anything to do with it, they put the Rockets here in the Mac title game. With more experience coming on both sides of the ball, there's a good chance you could see Jason Candle and his team make the trip up I-75 to Detroit later in the season. You know, we left the game last year in the bowl game with maybe a little bit of a sour taste in our mouth. And you, you come back in January and you want to see, you know, what your team is uh, just by sitting back and watching how guys interact with each other. And, and what I got when I got back in January was a focus group of guys ready to um, take the next step and, and really become the team that, that they want to become. And ultimately, they want to be sitting out here at the 50-yard line um, at the end of the year. Center Bryce Harris is one of the most experienced players on this Rockets team leading them this year. He's such a mature leader that some of his teammates that look up to him call him dad. You know, I, I was fortunate enough to be a team captain last season, so I guess, I guess it's working, whatever I'm doing. So, you know, I, I appreciate those guys, and, you know, I love them to death. So, you know, I'm helping them. They say I'm helping them and they appreciate my hope. So if I got to be a dad to do it, then that's fine. <laughs> like last year, there will be a QB competition between senior Mitch Guadani, junior Eli Peters, and even sophomore Carter Bradley is expected to make some headway. My thing I always look at it is I think some programs, you have a quarterback situation and or competition in that sense, and those guys aren't very close. So I think Toledo, we're, we have a very healthy quarterback competition. As for the Bowling Green Falcons, you can sense the change coming in the culture, the recruiting tactics, and even the talent on the field under new head coach Scott Leffler. With the depth chart being skin and bones right now, Leffler is the breath of life this team absolutely needs. His style is, uh, his words, maniacal maniac. Uh, he says that a lot? Yeah, okay. uh, being very maniacal, uh, just being like uh, crazy for the sport that you love, being passionate about everything. Where do you think Coach got that from, that phrase? I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe Kobe? I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, so Andrew said someone very like close in the football world. He said Tom Brady. Tom he Brady. thinks that's, oh, yeah. that's where he got it from. Definitely. When he that's doesn't hear the ball snap right into his hands, he has to redo it. Yeah. Does yep. that sound about right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Actually, the, the, where I first heard it was, um, what a maniacal person was is listening to Kobe Bryant talk to the Patriots, mm -hmm. and he talked about being maniacal. And the, there's there's certain people in this world that will wake up at three o'clock in the morning and go shoot 500 three throws like he used to. And um, there's a reason that those people get to where they go. But we need to show these guys the intensity, the leadership, how we do business inside and out. And not a lot of them have seen how it's supposed to be done. These teams will both be hitting the trenches come fall camp. That's just right around the corner, attempting to get their programs back up to their high standards. Reporting from Ford Field, Danny Rogers, BCSN.